Hi everybody, welcome to today's Pick a Card Reading and Charm Cast. Today's question is, what makes me attractive? What do people find attractive about you? Okay, so we've got three little groups of crystals here. Group one, group two, and group three. So I just ask that you clear your mind, take a deep breath, pause the video if you need to, and pick the group of crystals that's jumping out at you and calling your attention. Don't overthink it. You can pick more than one. If two are calling out to you, that's fine. And we'll start with group one. Today we're also going to be adding uh, charm casting, and you'll see what that is if you haven't uh, seen that done before. So each reading will have the card reading and a charm cast. Awesome. See you soon. Stay tuned. Hi guys, this is for group one. And the question again was, what do people find attractive about you? So let's see what cards you got. Persephone, inexperience. Freya, radical acceptance. Yin, clean it up. The wasp spirit. The pig spirit. And your three tarot cards today are the six of wands, six of pentacles, and the hanged man. Okay. So right away I can tell you're somebody who is a, an extremely hard worker and people look up to you, whether or not you know it, they do. You're definitely some someone that people can always come to to talk to. You're very selfless. You're always giving. You know, you never, you don't think of yourself first. You're always thinking of how you can help other people. I think you're somebody who's definitely not judgmental, right? People can come to you and tell you your sec their secrets, and they know that you're going to keep their secrets. So you're very trusting. Yeah, you're definitely somebody who people can feel comfortable trusting their secrets with. I think you're somebody who leaves people feeling really motivated and positive. I think you're definitely a good problem solver, and you're very intelligent. You're able to see things from a different perspective that maybe people didn't think about before. So people really like to come to you and talk to you, talk to you about their problems and kind of get your perspective. I think you take people's burdens off of them. So when someone's feeling really overwhelmed or something's happening in their life that they need help with, they think of you automatically. Yeah, especially with the clean it up card, you definitely are somebody who helps other people solve problems and clean up their messes. But the thing is, is it's really nice to be that way and, and be that person for people, but you do have to have some self, self preservation here and take care of yourself as well. You have a very gentle energy, so people feel very comfortable telling you things about themselves. And they know that you're not going to judge them or make them feel bad. That's extremely attractive. You're definitely a hard worker and people recognize that you work hard and you've earned everything that you have. You don't take any shortcuts. You're very accepting of people from all different walks of life and you know people that have been through things. You're very accepting. Can I see here? Let's add some charms into the mix here. So if you haven't ever had a charm reading until like this, so if the sound is loud. So let's see what charms you got. Group one, what makes group one attractive? Okay. Okay, can you see those here? Okay, so we've got definitely a gentle energy. You can make make things really clear for people. When people are feeling foggy or you know indecisive about something. They know that you'll bring some clarity. You're very calming too. People find you very calming and you give them a lot of hope. You definitely make things very clear for people. So when people are foggy about a decision or something going on in their life, you just have this way of clearing it up for them so that they feel, you know, that sudden sense of, oh my gosh, yes, you're right, or yes, this is what I have to do. So people really appreciate that about you. Yeah, you definitely free people from anxiety. That's that's something that a lot of people look for in you. You have a very calming effect on them. And you give them hope. Very nice. Just make 
make sure I'm not missing anything. You're definitely an amazing problem solver. You're able to look, look at things from different perspective and see all the facts and make a decision wisely so people really trust you and they admire that about you. A lot of people have tunnel vision. You know, when there's a problem, they think, oh, okay. They only look at it from one perspective. You're able to see everything. I definitely would take care of yourself, though. You know, sometimes people can maybe take advantage of that quality in you, the fact that you're always there to give them advice. And maybe, you know, sometimes you might need somebody to talk to as well. So make sure that you're taking care of yourself and giving yourself some time. You know, just because you do enjoy helping people and working out problems for them doesn't mean you always have to be available at all times, right? Okay. Yeah, so group one, I would definitely say your wisdom, your hard work, you being so non-judgmental and selfless, you're so giving. I think those are the things that make you the most attractive and those are really awesome qualities. Okay, group one, I hope you enjoyed the reading. Let me know in the comments if that resonated. If it didn't resonate, you know, just keep keep your eye out for future readings. This one might not be for you. And if you did pick another card group, then stick around. Thanks so much. Okay, group two. So the people that chose the pink crystals, they're up next. What do people find most attractive about you? Okay, so we have adaptability, flexible, so that right there. Those are very corresponding cards here. We've got a leg up, the squirrel spirit, believe in yourself, grasshopper spirit, take a leap of faith, your tarot cards. So um, whichever ones kind of hop out of the deck when I'm shuffling are the ones that I end up reading. So you've got a few tarot cards here. We've got Justice, the Three of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, Eight of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. Okay, so I'm going to do your charms in a minute and I'll bring them closer th so that you can see. But for now, let's just see here. What makes group two attractive? So right off the bat here, because you have adapt adaptability and flexible, I think you're somebody who is very adaptable. You know, when something gets difficult, you're somebody who makes the best of it. You're somebody who can always get through things because you don't crumble under pressure. People really look up to that. You're res very resilient. You're somebody who works well with others and you're very helpful and you're positive. You compliment people and try and work together and make them feel feel part of a team. So people really like working with you in group settings and at work. So if you work in an office, people really look forward to speaking with you and if they have a chance to work with you, they really enjoy it because you really compliment people and make them feel confident. You're somebody who definitely tries to make the best out of every situation. And you're someone who's independent. You solve your own problem problems and you don't you don't look for help because you're somebody who's who can solve their own problems. You never give up. You never let things keep you down. So with the Ten of Swords here, you know, every time you get knocked up knocked down, you're gonna get back up. You believe in yourself and others. I think you believe in being fair and you believe in karma, right? So you always try to treat people the way you would want to be treated. You're extremely helpful. I think you're somebody who's been through a lot. You've been through a lot in your life, but you never let that get you down. You always manage to get back up every time you get knocked down. And that's amazing. You're extremely strong. I think you're definitely a logical thinker, right? You see things as they are. You're able to work out problems in your brain. You're kind of that person that, you know, knock me down seven times, I'll get back up eight times. You're an extremely good friend and very loyal. And you always have your friends' backs. You're always willing to lend a hand and help out your friends. Even when they don't always do that for you, You've always been there for them. You're very forgiving, even when people don't deserve it, and you make people feel really good. So let's just look at your charms here. Okay. 
Okay, so what charms do you have here? Let's take a look. Okay. Oh yeah, you're a reliable friend. You're somebody who people can always have fun with and go on adventures with. Very reliable. You know, you stick out, you stick your neck out for people and defend people. You're the kind of person that if they had a problem, they know they can call you and you'll be there to help. I think you're also somebody who kind of feels comfortable calling people out on their, on their, on their stuff, right? If you know somebody's not acting the way that will benefit them, you're able to call them out and just say, look, you know what? Um, I love you, but have you ever considered this type thing? Yeah, you're very wise. You're somebody that just has been through a lot and you have a lot of advice to give. Okay, the fact that you have adaptable and flexible is your main theme here, right? So you're somebody who can get through anything. You have gone through a lot and people really admire that about you. You believe in yourself and others and you have a lot of faith. You're the kind of person you're very trusting. And you know things that are they're going to work out the way they're meant to. And sometimes things get hard, but you, you're able to stay positive. You're very fair, and you're somebody who treats other people very fairly. You definitely believe in karma, right? So you're not somebody who would disrespect anyone or steal or lie because you know that's what you're going to get back. So maybe that's really important to you. You see the big picture. You work really well with others and people really enjoy being around you and asking for your advice and your expertise. And you're very confident. You work very well with others. And you have a positive outlook. People enjoy asking you questions and getting your advice. You make people feel really motivated to, to go for their goals and reach their, their potential. And you're not afraid to start over and begin again, which is really, you know, when things go wrong, you're, you're able to get back up and restart and, you know, cut your losses and continue on. You're very brave. Very brave. Okay, group two, awesome. So I think your main qualities that people find attractive is the fact that you're flexible, you're resilient, you're adaptable, you're confident, you're very helpful, you work well with others, and you're positive. You compliment people and make them feel really good, and you're an amazing friend, and you're very smart. Awesome, so I hope you enjoyed that reading. Comment below if that resonated. If it didn't resonate, that's fine. It might not be for you. And feel free to stick around for the last reading, and if you did pick more than one, um, yeah, stick around. Thanks so much. Okay, group three, so if you picked third group this reading is for you and we'll do your charm casting in a minute but first let's see what cards we have for group three what makes you attractive okay so we've got the sun death and magic trust in the magic overcome any obstacle chaos and conflict come to the edge ace of wands the chariot nine of pentacles and the tower card okay so right away off the bat, I know that you're somebody who's very brave. You have a lot of courage and you're very trans trans transformative. So you're somebody who can adapt to different situations and you always get through things. You're also very mysterious. People find themselves really attracted to you and they can't really pinpoint why. It's almost like a chemical attraction. People just want to be near you and you're very mysterious to them. You're very bold and brave. You have that sort of onward and up, upward mentality. When things go wrong, you can stare things in the face and deal with them. You're not somebody to back down. Let me just take a look here. Okay. You're very strong. You're able to overcome anything, right? Things like, you know, when things crumble, you... you Stand right up and you're able to overcome anything. Yeah, over, Rhino Spirit, overcome any obstacle. I think you're somebody.
somebody who enjoys the simpler things in life, you're able to enjoy things that other people might not even notice or take notice of. A lot of people are too distracted to notice things that you enjoy. So you're very appreciative. And you, you just got this magic about, the, about you that people are very attracted to. People can't really pinpoint why, but they're just, they look at you and they think, wow, like, they're such an interesting person. I think you're somebody who's able to take higher ground in a situation, meaning you don't stoop to other people's level. So if people are acting immaturely or uh, cruel, you know, they're being cruel, you don't, you don't do that. You're, you're somebody who treats people with a lot of respect. With the sun card, I feel like people are super attracted to you and they just, they radiate towards you and they just want to be near you. But remember, the sun attracts bugs too, right? So don't let people take advantage or, you know, if you need time to yourself, you don't need to always be there for people. You make people feel warm and fuzzy and comfortable, like they can be themselves. And people want to soak up that strength in you. So you're a very strong person. So sometimes when people are having weak moments, they just want to be near you to soak up that strength and that power. You have a deep understanding of the world. You understand things that maybe other people don't. You understand little things about people or you kind of, you're probably somebody who, when you meet somebody, you right away, you know, get a good strong feeling about them. Very intuitive. You're very intuitive. You might even be somebody who is good at tarot or is attracted to that kind of thing. Like you're, you probably have a very intuitive psychic nature about you and you're very creative. You're just such an interesting person. You're very brave and adventurous at times. So let's do your charms. I'm going to bring them closer. I'm going to try and not be too loud. These can be kind of noisy. So I'm sorry if it's too loud. Get your cards out here. Okay, so right away we have the sunflower and the sun card. So definitely, so a sunflower aims towards the sun. So people just want to be near you. They look at you as a very strong person. Oh, look, we've got the sunflower, the sun, sun charm, and the sun card. So people definitely see you as somebody who just makes them feel amazing about themselves. You make people feel comfortable and happy and you bright up their, brighten up their day. Let's just see if I'm missing anything here. You help people feel like they can start fresh, right? When we have moments, like tower moments in our life, you're somebody who doesn't let those things keep them down. You know, things happen in life and you're you're able to get up and keep moving forward and people really admire that about you. You're sensitive, very sensitive. Very sensitive person. Very creative. And a really good friend, an amazing friend. You show people things that they might not have considered too. So if someone's feeling in the dark, you kind of, you light them up, you get, you light their way, you light their path for them. It's interesting because you got the rhino card and you also got the rhino charm. So you are somebody who can overcome any obstacle. You're very strong. You're very committed to your friends and family. Very loyal, very loyal. Mm -hmm. Very deep with your emotions too. You feel things really deeply. So you're not a superficial person. When you love, you love. You love with all your heart. I think you're somebody who doesn't tolerate um, liars, cheaters, things like that. So because you're so loyal, you just can't. You can't deal with that kind of quality in somebody. And because you're intuitive, you, you tend to pick up on those qualities pretty, pretty quickly. Nothing really gets past you. So yeah, that's an awesome reading. I think overall, you're brave, you're mysterious, got magic, 
You're very courageous. You just, you just have an awesome, beautiful mind. You're very interesting. You're mysterious. You've got lots of secrets and talents, and you, you live, you live in a way that you enjoy. You enjoy your life. You try to enjoy moments that most people let pass them by. You're comfortable, kind of at home on a Friday. You don't need to go to the bar, or go socialize. You're happy to just be at home with a good movie and a, and a nice snack or a glass of wine. You're, yeah, you're very interesting. Very nice, bold, brave. Very nice, group three, cool, awesome. Well, I hope that resonated with you. And uh, stick around for future readings. Got a lot more coming. Thank you so much. Bye.